A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. The country air is rich and rare. It stimulates the mind. We long to be there in a modest chair with the folks we left behind. We used to plow and milk the cow, but now and then we stop to listen to guys who are telling lies in the village barber shop. Oh, we remember a story, we remember a story, and now this little story we're going to tell to you. An Italian, a Hebrew, an Irishman once in search of recreation took enough provisions along to spend a vacation. They got lost way out in the woods. It was dark and lonely. All their food gave out except one piece of bologna. Someone shouted, I got a knife, but there's no use of carving. If we do, there isn't enough to keep us from starving. We keep uh, the baloney a while. Uh, what do you say to Tony? You let me try and stay awake and I watch the baloney. And nothing doing, Tony, me boy. It might be too inviting. Never mind. Now listen, my pal. Please stop all this fighting. I suggest we all go to bed so there's nothing phony. And the one who has the nicest dream wins the baloney. <laughs> I just uh, had the nice uh, dream, I think a morning, about uh, seven. I dream I'm uh, dying, uh, then I went up the uh, stairs uh, to heaven. I go right through the pearly gates on a nice uh, white uh, pony. You know I can uh, be the dream like uh, this, eh, Mike? Uh, push over the baloney. Not so fast, me bucko. I had quite a dream myself. I died from overeating. I went up to heaven and then, oh, what a greeting. Old St. Peter smilingly said, if it ain't me, old friend Maloney. Now you can't meet a dream like that, so I win the baloney. Don't push. Take your time, please, will you? I want to say I'll have to admit I know you aren't lying. Cause I dreamt that both of you died and oh, how I was crying. You went up to heaven and then, while I felt so lonely, I dreamt you wasn't coming back, so I ate the baloney.